my name is Owen Vargas. I'm bored as fuck. And welcome to the Daily Grind. get too excited about this thing over here let me explain something so you guys are wondering what the heck is going on this is my 11 super wx right now it's on isc coilovers this over there well they're the uh the bags that we've talked about i pulled the trigger and i bought it but i didn't think about one thing so here's the problem. This setup right here goes on a WRX either hatchback or sedan, but here's the problem. I bought it, but I don't know if I want to keep it. Now, I know you guys are going to be like, Mike, you already bought it. Why not just put it on your car? I want to be able to upgrade a car soon. And you guys are wondering like what the hell I'm upgrading to. And I'm thinking about upgrading to either a 16 STI, cool, or a GTR. So. I'm gonna give this an open forum so you guys can tell me what to do. So here's the problem. I got stuff that can go on the car now or I wait and we don't know how long because you guys know in California, it's almost impossible to find an STI on the lot and you'll be waiting like three to six months for a car. So are we, you and I w willing to wait for another six months for an STI in the exact model that I want. And you guys know I'm really, really freaking picky about it. Color, I'm not too worried about because we can always wrap it, but at least the features I do worry about. So the question here is, what do we do? Be responsible. I'm asking you guys to be really reasonable and responsible about this answer, um, about your answer, because there's a lot at stake here. If we get a GTR, it's a lot of money, there's a lot of responsibility, not a lot of power, which I'm okay with, but that means everything is more expensive. So even if I do buy a suspension kit for the GTR later, it's gonna be like three times the price of this thing sitting on the ground right now. If I get an STI, obviously it's not as much as a GTR, which is a good middle ground. The kit is still a little bit more expensive, but it's still reasonable. So the question is, what are we willing to wait for? But real quick, let's go in the house. I gotta give a big shout out to a few of you guys. I can't believe you guys did this for me. I am so excited, my wife and I, Iris, we sat there at two in the morning, I actually laid there in bed and watched these videos of these unboxings, holy crap. I'm gonna show you guys these and then we're gonna go back outside. We're gonna talk about this Subaru, a 16 STI and a GTR. You have no idea what I'm talking about, but I promise, just be patient. There is actually a nice amount of Tuner Crate unboxing reviews. Now, let me give you guys a backstory. Last night, literally, Iris and I were on our phone, laying in bed, kind of talking to each other, and I was browsing through Twitter, and someone tagged me on Twitter of an unboxing video they did. I clicked it, I liked it, I retweeted it, and then I looked through YouTube, and I found a ton more. And I gotta say, watching this, holy crap i i just i can't explain to you guys but most people who create products ship it out but never see the reaction of people so they only see like still images or they see like wor hear word of mouth for an unboxing video you guys are literally like opening a box and seeing the product firsthand and your reactions are really natural really real and for me to see it like if you guys could watch me and iris watch this big ass smile on our faces. So freaking shout out to you guys. And one person in particular is Nico. Nico has been nothing but so nice via email, uh, through the videos, through encouragement, through like all the messages he sent us. Nico, thank you so much. Let me tell you guys something. With having your own brand, what a lot of you guys don't understand is emails or freaking crazy and I'm so lucky that Iris has helped me a lot with my emails and tuner crate and some people for the most part are pretty encouraging about the delays and I haven't made a full video yet 
by the delays of Tuna Crate. Sometimes people get a little bit crazy, a little bit mean saying, why aren't my stuff there? And I've been completely open with you guys, telling you guys where things are, why things aren't going. Um, and you guys know, I've had many sleepless nights and a lot of my close friends have told me, I have aged dramatically since Tuna Crate's opened, which is not a good thing, but I am fixing that. And we have like set shipping dates. We have, oh, we have cutoff dates now with Tuna Crate. So uh, all orders for that month crate ends on the 19th. So basically the 20th at midnight. So 19th at 11.59 PM, that crate, so that April crate, which is this month, goes away and you guys cannot order it. And then uh, April 20th, which is 20th every month, that's the new crate that comes out. New styles, new stuff inside. This month's crate, this one is super good, just like last month, but I have an extra few items in there that I really like. This is Nico's page. Go check it out. Everyone else, of course, thank you so much for making the videos. Look at this. Look at the amount of unboxing videos. And, oh, this I haven't seen this one. And there's a page too. Holy crap, look at that, up here. Ah, yes. This is basically what I'm saying, guys. You guys are so freaking awesome. These unboxing videos, I just had to take a few minutes to thank you guys so much for this because that is probably why I've stayed up so late. Like, thought about packaging so much, all the details of the hang tags, all the way from the neck label, from the box, and to the stupid tape that locks the box together. I thought about all those little details and for you guys to see that, including the quote from the inside, warms my heart beyond anything I can explain. Like, I can't even, I can't even, I can spend 20, 30 minutes talking about how much, how this makes me happy. I'm like lost for words right now, but thank you so much. I think that's good enough for now. I'll talk more about this on Snapchat in a, in a separate video on just Tuna Crate. But let's get back to the conversation about what the heck I'm doing with my air suspension setup, my bags, what the heck we're talking about a GTR and a 16 SCI for, because those two things, including my current WRX, is a very close reality to something. So let's get back outside and let's talk about this. And uh, just a quick hug to all you guys who stayed subscribed for Tuna Crate for April. Thank you so much. All right, let's get outside. It's either put this on the car and keep the Subaru as it is with this on the car and play with it or sell this bad boy over there and save up for a 16 STI or a GTR. I mean, they're both not too far in the near future. So financially, I think it's smarter if I do one or the other. I either put those on the car or I save up for a GTR or SDI. What do you guys think? So to some of you guys, this is a fairly easy answer. Mike, you wanna upgrade into a GTR? Get a GTR. If you wanna get an SCI, get an SCI. But you guys know, life is about more than that quick decision. So I have a lot that I need to decide. I have to decide if it's good for the business, good for the channel, good financially for the books, and also, I need to be able to get rid of this suspension kit. So if I do decide to get a different car, that means I have to get rid of this airlift suspension. Anyone want to buy it for me? I haven't even opened it. You guys thought this was going to be an easy video. This is actually like a pop quiz on you guys. What do we do? I mean, you guys know my dream car is a GTR and I am dying to have one. But what can we do? We already have parts. We already have parts for the car. So do we just hopefully be able to sell these off and then look for a GTR? Or do we go a middle ground, grab an STI soon, hopefully soon, and mod it? So here's the thing, guys. I don't want to hear, Mike, it's your decision. Yes, I know it's ultimately mine, but I leave an open forum to you guys because your opinion matters greatly to me because you guys are like an extended version of family. So I will decide what's best for me, but I want to hear an input amongst everyone. What do you guys think is the best idea? Because one thing, we keep the car, put the bags on it now, we buy an STI, and we buy bags for that one and play with that one, or we get a GTR and hopefully bag that one, but everything gets exp exponentially more expensive. 
So what do you, would you guys do in my shoes? It's a hard one. Middle ground would be an STI. An ultimate thing would be a GTR. But at the same time, one thing you guys made such sense last time was, Mike, you don't even have time to enjoy your current car. Why would you get another car? That's a very, very freaking valid point. So I have a feeling this is gonna be a three or four part video series of us trying to figure out what does Mike Smurf from WX do with his back setup and his future ride? So I'm gonna keep this open form. Where are you guys gonna answer? Just comment down below, go on my Instagram, my Snapchat, just give me input. I'll read them, I won't respond to all of them, but I'll compile it into this brain and I'll figure it out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work on Tuner Crate. And uh, thank you guys, I can't thank you enough for those of you who did stay with Tuna Crate for April, definitely like a million, a million fist bumps for you guys. I am working super hard over here for you guys. And you guys say that the GTR is coming soon because of all the hard work. And yes, and yes, and yes. So thank you guys for that. I am get back to work. And a million thank yous, fist bumps, high fives. Till next time, my Smurfing Soldiers. See you later.